Okay. So anyone can become the first volunteer to tell us something about that situation, current and uh, old situation. Yes. The price in Hong, of fruit in Hong Kong is too high, uh, and uh, some some farmers in mainland China suffer from very poor situations. Hong Kong people suffer from too 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 much pressure and they have too few friends. And the goal situation is that the far, the price of fruit in Hong Kong is uh, accept, acceptable and the fruit. Farmers' situation is improved, and the Hong Kong people suffer from less pressure and have more friends. That, that's, uh, that's our goal. So it's about the uh, uh, food pies? Food and food? Food. F O U I T. F O D. Food. Fruit. Okay. How about? Uh, Good, good job. Yeah, situation you observe, you observe the situation that the price is not uh, fair, okay, or it's not fair to the consumer. So uh, want something to change, something to have a better price. So anyone, one second attempt. Yes. Lack of creativity among teenagers in Hong Kong and the goal situation is that the teenagers are given opportunities in space to develop their creative mind. Yeah. So it's about the lack of creativity. The situation is a lot of kids are just studying hard but without any creative mind training. So uh, this, this student want to change it to have more creative mind student in the community. Good. So. It's actually it's very uh, easy to describe because you can describe it whatever way you want and uh, anything you can observe can be described in this table, okay? So you can have your own scenarios. But I give you a very simple case about uh, what's going on in India, okay? This is a teaching case for a fishing village from an Indian rural village that some uh, of the fishermen there are under poverty and they are using very traditional fishery technique to do the fishing. And people die, the situation is uh, some people die at sea and get cheated by the midman for centuries, okay, not one year, not two years, but for hundreds of years, okay. So it's not fair. So the existing situation they describe like this. It's a no access to accurate information on weather, sea conditions, and food prices. Results in death at sea and also being treated on sales of fish. So this is a description of the existing situation. Okay. No access to accurate information of weather and prices. And solution we don't know yet, but we want, we have a goal situation here, that the villagers should be able to access the latest and most accurate information on weather, forecasts, sea conditions, and food prices, so they can catch more with safety and sell at a fair price. Okay? So normally, you can observe this uh, situation statement that the goal situation always is the better improvement of the existing situation. So it's not difficult to draft this kind of a situational statement. But because why this is so important is if you cannot describe what's your social problem, how can you want to change it? So with this very simple illustration, I hope you understand what is going on there. And so how to define a problem? To define a problem, uh, we use the same case uh, like this one. Okay, uh, the fisherman. The context is who and where. Okay, so remember when you want to describe some context, you need to describe 
who and where. So who is the fisherman? Where is in India? Okay. Or you can add also the time elements. Say in now, of course, yeah. Or in the past two years, I don't know. Yeah. You can also add time, but normally you don't because you're describing existing one. So it's a now and present moment. So the situation of those same one, and the goal is uh, you want them to have a better information there. Maybe this time. So framing testing and uh, we state one. Once we have our problem definition, you will ask if we frame it properly, like is the problem definition too broad? Is it too narrow? Is it assumption driven? Is it uh, solution driven? Solution driven is what I mentioned earlier, that most of your training demanding for answer. Okay. You will immediately think for the answer first. Now, this is not good for a problem solving and for innovative solutions uh, development. Because uh, normally, okay, as a human being, including me, I sometimes when we face a problem, we always uh, think of, of the solution first. Because uh, we, we think, oh, this can help to solve this problem. But if you really want to develop innovative solutions, you need to be uh, really open-minded. And you need to uh, analyze the problem piece by piece with different attributes that a problem can be looked at different way, like uh, in, in the buyer side, in the seller side, in the supplier side, in different stakeholder view upon, so that you have different attributes on every problem, subject, objects, and different areas, and you list them out, and to see how different subject and objects or attributes are interacting with each other, then you you don't draw any conclusion of any solution yet. Some of the problems statements, they may imply a solution inside the problem, because uh, when you are writing or defining something, you always just make a uh, Solution driven. So avoid if you are you have you if you have a tendency try to define problem with a solution. Try to remember that don't don't do that. Okay, don't avoid solution driven problem. Okay, don't don't just assume a solution is exists. Okay? That may be no solution, but defining a problem is easier. Actually, it's very simple. And then. After we define it, we will help. Uh, we will learn how to frame the testing and with statements like this one. Uh, this is a comparison of two statements. One is uh, the example is uh, is it too broad that traditional fishermen in rural India don't know when or where to fish, as well as the right place or right price to sell the fish they catch, so they can they risk their life and get treated by the middleman, therefore they can't fish safely or sell at a high price. And for, is it too bad? Yes, it's too bad. So you fix, you restate the problem statement like this one. Traditional fishermen in rural India don't have access to accurate information on weather prices. So, so just look at the red uh, letters and you can compare that. Uh, if you use a description of when or where to do something, then it's too uh, without a time frame, actually, because no one knows when is better, okay? So where is better, no one knows. You, you haven't de defined it properly with an answer or with a, with a framework of uh, what's the most important uh, elements inside the problem. But if you define it as a information sources, then you translate the problem into something with a very tangible elements inside. Like, uh, because the problem is because they don't have accurate information access, accessibility. Okay, they cannot access the information. It's not a matter of when or where. Okay, so you need to think and twist the problem with a better words or better uh, directions that you can, sooner or later, you will find this very useful because you will target to solve the problem with how to provide a better access to the information. Okay? 
Because if you have only this one, the above one, how can you develop the solution? When and where? So what? Okay? But if you just frame it as information resources, it will be better. Because uh, today we will not cover all these problem solving approach, including the uh, cause and uh, problem and cause, or cause and effect thinking method, or mental uh, principle, primary of principle, uh, so problem solving approach. I will not cover that, but you you can uh, find more information from from the website. One of the uh, popular thinking method is uh, if we have a uh, Problem. We can identify the causes behind this. Maybe causes one, causes two, and then maybe many sub causes. That you can develop. So it's called the pyramid principle. Main hole. Pyramid principle. It's a kind of a problem solving approach that you can easily find uh, in the website. Actually, it's like a cause and uh, effect uh, situations. So, for this uh, problem statement, what will you expect the solution is? Or uh, this one. If you want to provide accurate information to the fishermen in India, what can you do? If you can help, uh, how can you properly define this problem? So you will. Anyone? Brainstorm. We don't have a uh, rigid answer yet. Digital? Or. to get the information, yeah. okay. or radio, maybe, yeah. radio may be easier to deploy, yeah. but you need to get a, build up a radio station, you need to get some uh, radio uh, uh, working staff there to broadcast the information, it's like, just like our, in our city, okay, we have a radio, television, RPHK, we have CR, commercial radio, they provide information to anyone, fishermen, okay? The simple way is to do that, using radio. But you need to finance the operation of the radio, okay? Finance the operation of the broadcasting equipment, whatever. But this is maybe one of the solutions that they can get. And instantly, if the radio wave is far enough to broadcast to them, when they are traveling on the sea or before they travel, setting up uh, their fishing uh, procedures in the shore. Yeah. And that's it. How about the pricing? Also, pricing information, broadcast. Maybe broadcast on the village in front of the, uh, in the gateway, in the entrance of the village or some of the, I think every village has some common place for meeting, right? They have a village uh, master, okay? an old master to help them to lead the village. And you can post something there, common place, a temple maybe, and then give them information. And who judge the information? I don't know. They, they need to make up a mechanism or system on how to determine the system, so you need to find some educated guys from outside of the village and come back and help them to build up something. Yeah. That's it. So, this is just an exercise. That may, be, may not be a real case there, but we just try to use some other developed countries' case and very simple uh, problem definition and statement scenario that you can imagine anything from that exercise. And uh, 